All right, guys. I know nobody's here yet because I just did a surprise for this live stream. Uh, but I've had a lot of people asking me for updates on the kiln and I haven't made any YouTube videos lately. And uh, that's mainly because i um, just been really busy and working on this kiln and all the other stuff that life has been throwing our way. And so instead of doing a massive video and have to do the production and editing afterwards and all that, uh, you guys at least deserve to see where the kiln is and give a little bit, at least in a live stream. And so even though this is a, like I said, no warning, just a surprise live stream, uh, I'm, I'm been sweating out here all day long and, and I'm really about worn out, but I thought, well, where I am in this process, I want to at least give an update and show you guys what's going on here, uh, with the kiln because things are, uh, about getting close to, uh, well, not getting close to wrapping up, but they are, uh, moving right along. And, uh, you can see behind me here, uh, where things are with the kiln. I've finished the straight wall. Uh, all the way around, you can see the lights coming through the, the uh, exit uh, to the chimney back there. Uh, but uh, I'm going to walk all the way around the kiln and, and show you guys what's going on here. Uh, but like I said, instead of... Uh, I've actually attempted to make a video about... <laughs> yes, it has been a long time, uh, Bruce. Uh, but uh, instead of attempt... I've, I've attempted, I think, two or three times to actually record a video and but i think every time i've done at least two of the three times i've been interrupted by either a kid or something else going on and it just was like i don't have time for this right now and i apologize to you guys because you guys are the ones that are that are really like bothered and suffering because of me not making videos not that you're suffering but you know what i mean that uh just kind of uh disservice to you guys so anyway just wanted to go ahead and do this live stream and show you guys what's going on with the kiln so that you can see the updates because uh, i think last video i made i think i was probably let's see if i can get my finger at the right angle i was probably only about this high in laying brick on the kiln the last video you saw now i've posted pictures on my facebook and on instagram uh, of more of this but uh, but no videos so anyway well, i'm gonna turn the camera around here and then uh, walk around and show you guys what uh, actually i don't know that yeah there it is that's the back of my workshop there that's not what we want to see whoops the, uh, oop. okay that was the uh <laughs> the gimbal going crazy i apologize about that <laughs> some of y'all got motion sickness just now <laughs> anyway so uh so this is the the view from the side of the kiln so i've got uh, like i said all of the straight wall laid uh, and uh, i've got all the metal work done so i've got the angle iron on all four corners and i've got uh, five pieces of channel iron on each side uh, each piece of channel iron is uh, i have threaded rod run underneath the kiln uh, in all five of those spots and so that's going all the way to the other side and connected and then i have threaded rod attaching uh, those channel irons from one side to the other i also have tubes welded to the angle iron so i have all those uh, the tubes there that actually help that hold the uh, the uh, threaded rod that's going down. So there's three pieces of threaded rod. Uh, well, actually it's six pieces because they're tied together right down here. But there's uh, the, three, the three threaded rods going down each side and then five underneath and five above. And then there's threaded rod uh, bolt down there at the bottom of the front and on the very top up there at the front. And then once we finish loading each time, I'm gonna put a threaded rod right up there across the front uh, that will just hold it together a little bit better while it's firing. Um, so here, we'll walk around to the back. So, that, well, at least we'll stop here on the side. I'll show you guys. Uh, these are the side stoke holes uh, on the top there. And the bottom are mainly for if we need air intake or just for checking cones and for uh, if I need to move embers around. But there'll be uh, uh, one stack of pots that will be back here. And then there'll be about a 12 inch opening in between the two the stacks there'll be another stack right here in the middle and then there'll be another stack of pots that they will put here in front of that and then i'll show you in the front here in just a minute uh, a little harder to see now after putting all of the uh, arch forms and all that in but uh, then in the back here we've got uh, this is the very back of the kiln i've also got three pieces of threaded rod run across the back there 
um, you can actually see that's the the thickness of the wall of the chimney here is only four and a half inches thick just a standard brick instead of being the nine inches thick which the rest of the kiln is and i've got some spots on the sides and in the very back uh, laid out for passive dampers those are just holes that will be filled during most of the firing with brick and if we ever need to pull one of those out to change the way the air flows i can pull one or two bricks out of each of these holes uh, there's one one there two on the back that are a little bit higher and then there'll be um, Oops get my camera turned and then there's one here on this side uh, And then of course like I said this side is pretty much the same as the other side as far as Two stoke holes there for side stoking and then the air intakes these actually have the bricks in them down here on the bottom and then uh, You can see the uh, the arch form here uh, the arch is going to go all the way from there all the way to the front and then uh, the uh, chimney will be You can see my back wall of my kiln there is kind of like uh, about half of the uh, uh, Arch is going to cover uh, or the half of the back wall is going to be covered by the arch The other half of the wall is, or half of the back wall is going to be basically the front wall of the chimney the chimney will uh, will go straight up through there those uh, those boards there, those three boards there uh, that go all the way across, those are temporary boards that are put in. Those will be taken out and I'll replace those with, uh, with metal rods or, or with some uh, angle iron to help hold the uh, roofing up while the chimney goes up through the center there. And then, uh, let's see here. We'll, uh, there's a threaded rod going down this uh, each side here. You can see, like I was saying, I tied the uh, I've got a 12 foot piece and a six foot piece going on each side and tied those together with a coupling nut there And then each of those uh, like I said when you get to the corners You know, I've got everything with the tubes welded to the angle iron and then I've got the the washers and nuts uh, all attached holding all that together, so um, That's that's that we'll go back around to the front here and show you guys so as you could see behind me at the beginning of this or if you weren't here when you go back and watch this or if you're watching this for the first time that's uh, the front lower part here. Of course, that's all a firebox. I actually replaced the bricks that are right in here. Uh, when I bought my posts for my, uh, and my shelves, I went ahead and bought some extra brick to replace these with some, uh, with some super duty bricks. So those are actually super duty bricks. So I actually replaced that area there because that's gonna be one of the hottest and uh, one of the, the worst parts of the kiln for, for uh, kind of like deterioration on the brick. And then uh, if I kind of, Go in here and, and bend down and angle up. You can see all of the arch forms that are inside there. So all those uh, were cut. And then today, actually, we, we put, there wasn't a single arch form in here this morning. And so that today we went through and actually cut all, uh, we placed all those arch forms. And uh, hey, Dallas, uh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, each of the arch forms, you can see if I get up underneath here, there's actually boards in between that kind of like act as kind of like studs in a wall that are holding the arch forms with each other and that also support the masonite that's on top. And so uh, all of those are put together and then uh, the framing here is just like I said, temporary framing just to hold up the arch. Uh, I've got the blocks there and I've got uh, uh, basically all these blocks here are meant so that after the the form after the arch is built then i should be able to take out uh maybe knock out uh some of these two by fours that are flat there to kind of help let the arch down and relieve that pressure on the actual brick and then the bridge brick being a sprung arch uh, will just hold itself after that at least that's the plan <laughs> i not to say that i'm not concerned about all this because uh every time you know i've already figured out i'm like all right i'm gonna have about seven thousand pounds of brick on top of that and then when i go to put that down if i'm inside there working on that trying to pull out the the forms that's uh, already scaring me but uh just gonna have to trust that i'm doing this uh correctly and that everything will be okay uh, but uh I've got the uh, pattern for the arch already laid out. I've got, uh, yeah, it's gonna take a lot to fill it. You're right, that is, uh, that's, that's supposed to be what the very next month, uh, August, is gonna be about. So my plan is to finish this arch and the chimney, really, in the next couple weeks, and then, uh, and then start making pots. So all of August will be uh, making pots to fill it up. But, uh, hello. 
Um, I'll, one of the other major uh, changes I'm going to do is see when I built the kiln shed, I've got these wooden uh, cross ties that go across here. Uh, and those were important just to hold the structure of the shed together to kind of relieve some of the downward pressure. And so some of those are going to be a little bit too close to the top of the kiln when I'm finished because um, the, the arch brick I'm using are six by nine. So the, the, even the, uh, the arch of the kiln is going to be six inches thick of brick. And then you got the castable on top of that. And so uh, I was just concerned slightly with those being a little too close um, to the uh, top of the kiln. So I'm actually gonna take out all five of these that are kind of in the frame here. This, this one at the very top here, that one, that one, and those two back there. I'm gonna take all those out and I'm actually gonna put threaded rod uh, from one header on one side of the shed all the way to the other. And so that'll replace those five rods. I'm gonna put four, um, four uh, the, I'll replace those five uh, wooden cross ties with threaded rod. I've got uh, 12 foot pieces of threaded rod here that I'm gonna uh, patch together. And, uh, and, and, and uh, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of go on each side of the, the posts here. I'm gonna kind of uh, go probably here and over there and just go through the header and attach all the way to the other side with a threaded rod with a coupling nut in the middle and, and take out those wooden cross ties. That way I don't have any concern of, of, uh, of those wooden cross ties getting too hot during firing and combusting. That would just be a bad, that would be a bad day. <laughs> very bad day. I actually had a friend that happened to recently and I was very sad for him. So that's, uh, that's not a fun thing. But uh, I've got, these are all my arch brick here. These are actually the brick that I was originally starting to build the straight wall of the kiln out of. You can actually see here, um, kind of like the, the bottom of the firebox here is actually some normal straight bricks. And then like this lay, these six layers right in here are actually all done with these six by nine uh, number one arch brick, but I just laid one one way and one the other way and it, and it made a, a, a cube that was a, a, a level surface. But then uh, I got to thinking that I should maybe use those arch brick for my actual arch. So I ended up buying about, uh, I don't know, 1800 or so of these uh, other uh, high duty brick uh, or super duty brick there. So uh, that's what I, uh, Hey there, I, hey, trust me, I know how you feel saying you feel jealous because I've been uh, firing with other people in their kilns for years and, uh, and just felt the same way and be like, man, if I could just ever have my own kiln, I could be way more independent, I could make more of what I wanna make and I could make more money, hopefully, and uh, better support my family and my dreams and, and, uh, and just do better work that way. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here and, and uh, don't feel jealous. Just work towards your goals. Um, yeah, I have come a long way since the last update. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, if, you, if you go back and watch this, you'll, you'll hear some explanation of why, just some general stuff going on. But anyway, so I've got these two pallets here of arch brick. And then I've got uh, back here, I've got two more pallets of arch brick uh, that are those two pallets stacked right there. Uh, so I've got, I've got six to 700 arch brick. Uh, and it will take just about all those to do this arch. So I think it's going to take uh, 20 courses of arch brick. Um, and uh, that's, I think there's about 30 brick in each course. So, or maybe 20 and a half courses <clears throat> of arch brick. So let me turn the camera around here. So like I said, it's going to take, uh, I, I, think, I think it's 20 and a half, around 20 and a half courses of arch brick to go from here. It's 84 inches from the very front here to the back where the arch is gonna be uh, all the way back there. And so uh, uh, I guess the other thing here I, sh I should show you, let me turn the camera back around again. The other thing I should show you on the side of each of the, uh, uh, on the side you can see I've got, oh, sorry, trying to control the gimbal here. On the side I've got the, uh, I should go to the other side. It's a little crowded on this one. Um, I've got the five pieces of channel iron on the side. Now the arch is going to be all hard brick. The whole kiln is hard brick because I'm going to use the, I'm going to, it's going to be a wood fired salt kiln. And so the, the soft brick would not work as well. Um, but, uh, you can see here, I've got all the channel iron on each side. I got these five pieces here, but then I've actually got a 184 inch piece of channel iron that goes all the way. So it's 15 foot, four inches. Uh, that goes right there and that's basically to support the arch 
inside of those uh, those channel iron that's there. So the first layer of arch brick will be laid uh, just inside that. If I can go here, you can kind of see. <clears throat> I've got uh, kind of one set up here. I've got uh, the first layer is actually going to be a little tricky because I, I'm decided if I'm actually going to do it laying like this and fill in this little gap mortar here uh, because I can't really cut a brick that's this shape here because my saw is just not big enough. So I'm either going to cut some small ones like that and then fill in the gap. Um, I can kind of go up there on top and show you. So I've got a little space uh, filler back there, which is a, like an inch and a quarter brick back there and then underneath i've got a little wedge and then uh, but that's about the the starting shape that i need so i can either fill in that with mortar um, or i could lay this one flat and then just compensate as i go with the uh, uh with the spaces the gaps as i go up and around so the gaps are going to change as i go up and around so uh, a lot of them at the beginning will be really close together there won't be much of a gap on the top the inside of the brick will all be touching. So like as I lay the arch, all of the, the, the smaller sides of the brick, these are number one arches, so they're tapered. They're a little bit bigger on this end than this end. All of the insides will be touching. So when you look at it from inside of the kiln, you'll never see any gaps. You'll just see all the, the bricks touching all the way up and around. Uh, but I'll fill in that top side of the, the, the gap with some castable and some, uh, some mortar. And uh, uh, I'm... I'm believing and hoping that all is going to be well with that so <laughs> that's that's what the plan is so oh, sorry get, get them going crazy again sorry about that okay sorry about that gimbal was uh acting up it doesn't like it when you uh do too much rotation all right anyway so now i'm back uh, in the front here and so you can see this is a uh, uh, about as much of an update as I can give you at the moment and uh, like I said I apologize again that it's been so long since uh, since I've given you one but uh, at least now you can see where I am and I've got like I said definitely several days of laying brick to get the arch done um, I'm probably gonna have one of my friends Joseph sand that I've been f uh, firing with for five years or so he's gonna come down and help uh, a little bit with that at least with some some guidance just because this is I've never built an arch this big and so I uh, just want to make sure I've also consulted with Ben Owen here locally a little bit and he definitely knows what he's talking about He's built several kilns and has been uh, making pots uh, way longer than I have but uh, so there's your update and uh, like I said I apologize it's been so long and hopefully when I get back in the studio and uh, back to making pots again I haven't actually made any pots here at home uh, probably since March. So uh, I, I've uh, made some pots for other potters, you know, the contract work that I've been doing for years. So uh, I've been doing that steady along at least a couple days a week. Uh, but every other ounce of time that I could muster, I've been out here working, laying brick and, and getting things ready. And it's cost uh, way more money than I thought. And it's taking longer than I thought, which is kind of a general rule, isn't it? Anytime you want to do anything, it's going to take more time and cost more money. Well, that's the truth here. So anyway, uh, I'll give you guys updates as soon as I can again. And I uh, just wanted to um, at least share this with you. And I appreciate you guys. And I know a lot of you have sent me messages on uh, Facebook and on YouTube asking, uh, you know, where the updates were. Uh, hey, Seth, how you doing? <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are wishing they could see updates on YouTube and uh, more videos, but I just haven't had time for that and it hasn't been a priority. So, um, but uh, haven't haven't quit it. Just uh, just hasn't uh, just hasn't been a priority. So, yeah, Seth, I haven't made the plates yet. Sorry about that, but uh, I'll get to it. I know you said no rush, so hopefully you meant that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, like I said, just want to give you an update. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to send me a message either on YouTube or Facebook. And uh, like I said, if, if I don't get back to you, it's not because I didn't want to or anything like that. It's just I've been super busy. And uh, uh, yeah, well, the, your plates won't be fired in this kiln because your plates wouldn't look like that you want them uh, if I fired them in here. But uh, uh, you definitely, uh, you'll, uh, I'll have you over when, uh, when we get ready to fire this and you can, uh, you can throw some wood in. So 
uh, hopefully that'll, that'll satisfy you. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, I hope you guys are all doing well. And, uh, if you guys, uh, like I said, if you have any questions, just send me a message. And, uh, with that, I'll just kind of keep this live stream short. And, uh, if you missed any of this, just go back and watch it from the beginning and, uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day and go make some amazing pots and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.